Hi everybody, I'm Vargas with Stogie on Wheels. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Swag Cigar. Uh, cigar Lifestyle is just their their uh, like motto name. It's uh, the Puro Exclusivo. I took the, the foot off already. Puro Exclusivo. Uh, it's a Dominican Republic cigar. Um, its filler has been aged uh, up to four years. Uh, the size I have is a Toro, six inches, uh, 54 inch ring gauge. So it has a Habano wrapper. Right away, the seams are tight. It's, uh, it's not a squishy pack. It's pretty tight, pretty good. Um, appears to be a double cap. Hmm. get a woodsy, earthy aroma, not barnyard, completely different. This when you smell a cigar, this is what you, if, if you find one, smell it. This is what they should smell like. That's, oh. Right away, like I can smell I smell the, the spice that I'm going to hit. I do smell a little bit of manure now. Oh yeah, the, the, the semi-chocolate aroma. I, I always, I, it's, it's, I don't know. Oh. Let's cut this up and see what we get out of it, alright? Got my found my my good cutter A lot of smoke. Whew. Right away. Ton of flavor. Ton of spice. Hit you in the back of the throat. Not even not not pepper. Um, not a pepper spice. It's uh, it's different. But hit you in the back. Smoke coats your mouth. Feel, you feel the oiliness of it. Get like a little, uh, like a little roasted nut, nut flavor. A lot of dried spice. This, this would go well with, uh, with the drink. <laughs> Oh. I'd say this is a, a medium body cigar. The the finish strong finish. Uh dried spice hits you in the back of the throat. You feel that. Got like a like a almost like a toasted nut uh Toasted almond flavor I'm getting. It's very, yeah. So we're gonna get this uh, going first third. See what flavors develop.
All right, we're a third of the way in. Ash is holding on uh, quite nicely. Uh, the burn was at an angle, but seems to be uh, eating itself out. As you can see by the ash, it's uh, starting to curve that way. But it's holding on nicely. So, beauty of a long filler cigar. <clears throat> uh, right away, the smoke. Still has that spice. Uh, now, when you pull it in, um, spice is hitting you on the tip of the tongue. Um, and then it engulfs your whole mouth. <clears throat> I'm getting that, that woodsy. Um, it's more of a cedar flavor that I'm getting. Um, and a hint of coffee. Just a hint. Um, and no no mocha but coffee flavor and I, I don't I'm not a coffee fan I don't drink regular coffee but this cigar is given giving you a hint of it it's not entirely too bad I mean I just don't like drinking this stuff uh, the, the smoke is 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 full and rich you know Definitely a medium body cigar. We'll keep this going. Get into the second third. See what develops. Uh, two thirds in. About an hour into the total smoke time. Um, had to tip off the ash because it was going to fall any minute. Um, burn. It's kind of being, uh, you know, coaxed a little bit with the with the veins at the end. Um, you know, it was razor sharp, so I'd say 15 minutes ago. Uh, the uh, the leather uh, leather's still there. Pepper note kind of kind of died down. Uh, it's still putting on a good amount of smoke. Not warm smoke though. Usually gets warm. I don't know if I said that already, but uh, you know, leather note. It's kind of turned up a little bit. Uh, the other flavors, uh, and that's in that you know, middle of the cigar. I was getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a licorice, almost like a like a shot of Jaeger. Uh, that was gone after a couple puffs. The uh, uh, the finish. Does leave a bit of a bit of a you know coffee flavor still, <clears throat> but uh, that that leather note is still there. Um, so we'll continue going on. Probably take off the the band here. Let's see. Yeah, not a lot of glue, which is good. And let's see, is it, yep, nothing on the cigar, what does it say here, handmade long filler, which is good. So we'll uh, continue smoking down, see what else develops, uh, like I said, the uh, the flavors have kind of died down a little bit, uh, at least the complex flavors, but we'll see how it goes, stay tuned. About an hour and a half in, um, I just put it out uh, last last third. Smoke started getting very very warm, uh, almost harsh, bitey. So the uh, didn't uh, the vein screwed up the uh, the smoke for me. Tried to touch it up, didn't work too well. Got about a couple more puffs out of it. It just started getting really warm. Um, overall, about an hour and a half smoke time out of it. It's, uh, leather was still there. Coffee went away. Then it was just starting to get harsh. Harsh. Uh, so, overall, not, not bad. Decent. Um, you know, teach his own. You smoke it like it if not you know 
Um, but got down probably like that much. I put it out, so um, Stogie on Wheels, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.